Hi, my name's Ray from the Radio Workshop and uh, this is the introduction video to the members area. The members area on the website is all about restoring and repairing vintage radios and it's basically for beginners, newcomers to the hobby. Um, I've had many, many emails and, f and phone calls over the years, over the decades even, about radio courses. Now, back in the 60s, I attended our local, what was then called uh, Technical College, and uh, there was a five-year course on radio and television servicing. Of course, all that sort of thing's gone now. People ask me about books. Can I recommend any books? Well, yes, there are. There are probably hundreds of books out there, but I don't know which. I don't think there's a book, well, not that I know of, that can take you through the the basics of a vintage valve radio, uh, starting from the power supply, working way through the the radio. Um, I think you'll need a whole library of books, to be honest. Um, so yeah, I've been asked this question. People have said, "You do I run courses?" Well, no, I I don't. I I'm pretty busy restoring radios. I don't have time to run courses, um, and also that would mean people travelling. Well, I don't know from all over the country. Um, so what I've done in the members area, I've created how many? Over 60 videos now. Uh, now a lot of these videos, um, I think it's 30 odd, are the weekly videos. Every week I'll make a video and it's the latest, uh, latest news, um, what's come into the workshop, various faults that I've had, uh, which I, I explain, um, hints and tips, that sort of thing. Uh, so the weekly videos keep the interest going, if you like. It's just to, to sort of make contact with everyone. I don't know how many members I've got at the moment, but they are worldwide. New Zealand, Australia, America, Spain, Netherlands, UK, of course, France. And they are literally around the world. Um, and as someone in America said, he emailed me a while ago, uh, do you cover American radios? Well, not as such, no, I, I work mainly on the British radios, but having said that, a radio is a radio. There's the IF stage, the oscillator, the mixer, the audio amplifier, the power supply, whether it's American, French, British, whatever, uh, all right, they all look different. They're all designed in a different way, but basically uh, they all operate in the same way. A superhit radio is a superhit radio. So what I do, apart from the weekly videos, there are, I don't know how many, 30 odd so far, videos explaining how, for example, there we are, how to replace the speaker cloth on a vintage radio. There's a bit of a knack to that. You've got to get it as tight as a drum. You don't want it this all, all sagging and baggy. It'll look awful. Um, signal generator, how to use the signal generator, what it's for, how to carry out IF alignment, uh, oscillator alignment, RF alignment, all that sort of thing. Uh, there are, as I say, I can't list all the videos, but I think they're listed on this page um, on the, the where you've joined the, the members area. They're listed on the page. Um, yeah, there's uh, power supplies, audio amplifier, uh, a video about IF amplifiers, a video about the mixer oscillator. Um, a video, I think one or, or maybe even two videos, I can't remember, about how to read a circuit diagram. There we are. Some of you might be thinking, well, that's simple. Anyone can read a circuit diagram. No, they can't. Some people don't know how to. Um, as I say, this is for beginners. So it's very useful to be able to read a circuit diagram. And there's, that is all explained in the video. Um, what I do is go through the circuit with you, showing you what's what. This is a power supply, this is the audio amp, uh, the detector, AGC, working back to the aerial, uh, fault finding, that sort of thing. There's a, I think there's a whole video just on AGC, the automatic gain control. It used to be AVC, automatic volume control. There's a video all about that. Um, I've made a few notes here. I'm getting old, I forget things. What do you mean I can see that? <laughs> I'm not getting old really. No, talking of age. Uh, when I'm dead and gone, uh, hopefully not just yet because I haven't finished making all the videos, but this will be like a, a, a legacy. Imagine, in, in, it would be great to think that 50 years from now, someone is restoring this Bush DAC-90A or this wartime 
civilian utility radio. Um, imagine that 50 years from now, watching my videos, you know, some, someone, I don't know, some youngster, watching my videos and actually restoring these radios. Great, so it's a, it's a kind of legacy, um, which uh, is, you know, is nice to think might carry on. We well, never know, how about a hundred years? I don't know, no, maybe. <laughs> Maybe not, there'd be nothing to listen to on long and medium wave or short wave in a hundred years' time. That'd be interesting, wonder what's going to happen to the bands. So, okay, also in the members area, there's a resistor calculator, uh, lots of valve information, that sort of thing. Uh, with a calculator, you get a resistor, you put in your colours, like red, orange, brown, and put in the colours, and it'll tell you the value of the resistor. So that'll help teach you the colour code. Um, capacitors there's uh, like an equivalence chart so if you've got a, a 0 0.002 microfarad capacitor it will tell you how many picofarads that is or nanofarads which is the the modern uh, the modern one so yeah it is for beginners but also if you are already restoring vintage valve radios uh, you know that there will be a lot of useful things there bandwidth what is IF bandwidth what does it matter this is something I've often been asked over the years. What is IF bandwidth? How, what determines the IF bandwidth? Um, tracking. People read here and there. I mean, there are this information on the internet again, but I've not found anywhere where it's all sort of put into one, one lump, one course, one set of videos or set of text or whatever. Um, so yeah, there is information all over the internet but uh, if you try and look up something, what determines IF bandwidth? Well, where do you find it? You put that into the internet, you're going to get a load of stuff come up. There's nothing to do with it. Uh, for a start, the, word, the, the letters IF will come up as the word IF, so that's thrown out. <laughs> Not a search term. Um, what else? Series valve heaters parallel valve heaters. What's the difference? Why? Live chassis. Mains isolating transformer. What is a mains isolating transformer? Why do you need one in the workshop? What's it for? What's it do? How does it work? Uh, workshop. How to set up a workshop. What test equipment will you need? What tools will you need? Uh, the videos go on and on. So anyway, I'm not going to bore you anymore. I just wanted to, to get across what these uh, videos are all about. As I say, there are over 60 including the weekly videos uh, and I I don't think yet I've missed a week um, so if I do miss a week you know I might be on holiday or something I'm not going to do a weekly video when I'm some, somewhere on holiday but uh, there we are that's basically what it's all about I should have just mentioned that you can have a look at the Radio Workshop Facebook page it's uh, what is it facebook.com slash Radio Workshop one word Radio Workshop so there we are. I hope to see you in the members area. Um, if you've got any questions, email me, uh, ray at radio-workshop.co.uk, ray at radio-workshop.co.uk. That's a hyphen in the middle, not the underscore. Um, yes, yeah, so if you've got any questions or, or ask questions on the Facebook page, that's where a lot of people seem to congregate with comments and questions. So, uh, as I say, I hope to see you in the members area. Thanks for watching the video. Bye-bye.